stuffing is a game changer when we are talking about amigurumis and usually people underestimate how important it is. It determines the shape of the toy. You don't want it to shrivel, but you also don't want your amigurumis overstuffed and looking bloated. So what's the right way to have it done? Let's stuff some amigurumi parts together and I'm sure you're going to keep watching until the end because I have like a very special tip in the end that will be mind-blowing for you. I usually use a polyester fiber fill. I have this one from Hobby. It comes with 100 grams and you can see the label here, it's from Hobby. But honestly, this is not very cheap. It is a very good quality material, but it's not very cheap. I also purchased like this big pack here in a local store here in Finland and I paid like, it's half a kilo and I paid, oh, I guess it was like seven euros, something like that. So, and this, this small pack from Hobby, I paid two something, three euros for just a hundred grams. So in comparison, these ones are way cheaper. Um, there are different materials also available and for sure I don't know all brands of fiber that exists so I strongly recommend you test the ones that you find next to your home and local stores because the variety of products are huge and I say that it's important testing because when I lived in Brazil I, there were different brands, there were lots of dif different brands and some brands they were very good and others they didn't have like the same quality and it also affects the amigurumi, the shape of the amigurumi so that's why it's so important to test different products so you see which one is the best for you and for your type of crochet and your amigurumi projects when it comes to stuffing our toy, there are some shapes that we create uh, while crocheting that can only show up when we use the stuffing appropriately. For example, a square head shape. And I have an example here. This is my Barbie doll. I really wanted to create a Barbie um, inspired in the movie. And you can see that she has like a square shape. Um, this is something that I love. And I started crocheting these square shapes back in 2021 I guess there's been quite a long time that I created those shapes and I spent a long time designing it to get to like the perfect shape that I wanted but throughout those years um, while I was selling those patterns those square hat patterns for dolls I received lots of people sending me messages that they could not get exactly the shape and that's why i created another video and i have this video here in the channel which i'll leave the link down below in the description um, that i teach some special techniques to keep the square head shape and one of the tips that i give in this video is regarding stuffing and it's really interesting because lots of people think that there is like something very very special after you crochet the square shape to keep this shape in the end, but there's nothing that special. What, what is a game changer when it comes to keeping the shape is the stuffing. And I show it in this video in a very, very careful way how to do it. Because if you overstuff your toy, you will lose the square shape. And I show it like in two examples. It's very interesting how it looks. And that's why I said that people underestimate how important stuffing is. So a square shape has corners. And when you overstuff your toy, you lose those corners completely and you get a round head, which is something that you don't want. You created a square head and you want to keep it. You don't want it to get round. So when stuffing your amigurumi, the body of your amigurumi, for example, my first recommendation is don't put like a big ball of stuffing at once in your toy. Instead of doing it, take a small ball of, of polyester fiber and split the fiber like this so you get smaller pieces to insert in your amigurumi. Another thing that is very helpful is to take these small pieces and make a small ball like this. I like doing this to depending on the size of the amigurumi. So you make these small balls of filling and you 
patiently insert in your amigurumi. And patience is the key, that's why I'm emphasizing this word here. If you have a big amigurumi like this one, I still haven't finished because yeah, I don't have enough yarn to finish the project. I already purchased more, but this is uh, Mrs. Klaus that I crocheted and I used a hobby plushie yarn. I don't know if it's baby snuggle or honey bunny, but yeah, because I think they are so similar. If we compare with my Barbie doll, how big this amigurumi is. So of course, to stuff it, I can use bigger balls of fiber to insert in the amigurumi but even so we have to put it patiently not to lose the shapes that we created okay so let's stuff this body together just so you know this is my mrs klaus i made it with cotton yarn this is a hundred percent cotton yarn from hobby she's very cute isn't she and um this is a plushy version that I'm making of her. It's exactly the same pattern, but I'm using uh, the baby snuggle from Hobby. Okay, this is 100% polyester while this is cotton yarn. And let's stuff this body together. So since this is a big amigurumi, it's okay to take like bigger balls of fiber to put inside the amigurumi. But something very important that I'm also always talking when it comes to stuffing is I always say that stuffing also shapes the amigurumi. And for example, um, in this pattern, I teach the, the amigurumi stands by itself here. As you can see, she stands on the table for herself without using any support materials. But there's a special technique that I teach in the patterns to do that. And sometimes people come to me saying that the doll does not stand by itself. And it's not the pattern that doesn't work. It's the technique of stuffing that makes a difference. Because you have to make the feet to stay like this. If I overstuff the feet, which is something that, also, that is also written in the pattern, it will be bloated. And if it's rounded, for sure, it won't stand by itself. So this is something that is written. And usually I always say people overestimate how important stuffing is. So if it's said not to overstuff the feet, you have to keep it flat. Otherwise the doll will not stand by itself. Um, that's why I wanted to show you this beautiful Mrs. Klaus here. But in my plushy version, there is no need because in this one, I don't want it to stand by itself. I want it to be big. And so I will stuff it like this. And that's okay to keep it rounded. I already made a plushy version of my Groot pattern. But Groot, I wanted to stand by himself too. And I managed to do it. Um, using the plushy yarn too so it's a matter of technique combined with stuffing yeah there is yarn here that I still haven't fastened off but that's okay I just want to show you how to stuff the amigurumi and okay I'll keep stuffing it here and this one I know it's a bit easier you can see that the stuffing is inside it starts to get the sh to the shape that we want so you always use your fingers to help fit the stuffing you can make the small balls like this and with the help of your fingers you fit this small ball in the empty spaces okay so i feel that it's a bit empty here so with my fingers i help to put fiber in this empty space because we want the toy firm but not lumpy now that it's almost full i start taking smaller balls of fiber and put them in those empty spaces and especially next to the decreases because I still don't have like the the proper color of yarn to finish the doll that's why she doesn't have a head um, yet 
I already purchased. I'm looking forward to this pack to to this pack to get in my apartment. But um, let's suppose the hat was here already, especially next to the decreases. This is the moment that we take the small balls and help with the help of our fingers we shape the amigurumi. Whenever it feels a bit squishy, you can put more fiber, but always observing that you do not overstuff your toy because, let me see if I can show you in this. Yeah, I can. So my stitches are also very tight in this, in this yarn here, but if I overstuff it, you see that I start to create holes. I'm forcing the stitches a little bit because I want to show you. You see my finger here. Let's suppose this is just like there's a lot of fiber in it. You start to overstuff and your stitches get larger and you start to see the holes between stitches, which is something that we do not want. So if you have it firm and not bloated, you got it right. And I guess I got it right here. Okay, this is firm and it's not bloated. The stitches are very pretty. Just like the small version that I have here. It is firm. The head is very, very firm. The bun, everything, all parts. And it's not overstuffed. Another tip to give you when it comes to stuffing. Let's suppose that I already had the head here of Mrs. Klaus because this one was sold. As you can see, I sold the hat to the body. But you don't want to put too much stuff in here next to the neck, okay? Otherwise, let me take a bigger crochet hook to show you. Okay, so let's suppose I already had my beige color here to continue. If, if I was supposed to sew the hat here in this part and the neck has too much stuffing, when you insert the hook, you see that you start, you pull stuffing with the hook and this is not something that we want. It happens when you're crocheting, it also helps when you're sewing parts. So my, my advice would be like start sewing the head and as you have it more closed with the help of the fingers, in this part, like this small part here that is still not sold, you start to put more fiber in it, okay? And this is also my Santa Claus, a beautiful small version, and I'm also making the big one here, as I showed you before, with Mrs. Klaus. Again, I don't have the hat, I need more yarn. <laughs> but I crocheted the arms, okay? So I have the arms, same pattern. But I wanted to show you that the arms have something has something special when it comes to stuffing. If I overstuff the arms, the amigurumi will be like this. The arms will not be like this next to the body. This is not what we want. So this is also something that we have to pay attention. So I will put stuffing in this oh, Now I make small balls because this is not a very big amigurumi piece. It's a small, you see that only my finger fits into it. So I take a small ball and with the help of the finger, I insert, I insert the fiber in it. You can also make these small balls and use materials like the crochet hook to help you. You see, this is a small ball. <laughs> Perfect example. <laughs> and with the help of the crochet hook, you put more fiber into it. You see that I created like the thumbs. I wanted to create this, the thumbs here for Santa Claus. I also did it here with, with the plushy yarn. So I have to make sure that I put stuffing here to emphasize this part. Otherwise it will be bloated and it will look like there's no difference between this part and this part here. 
okay so stuffing is like here almost in the middle of the arm so that's perfect that's okay because when I sew it and I want the thumbs here thumbs up <laughs> I want it here so when I sew it it will be very beautiful if I overstuff until here the amigurumi the, the arms will be like this and I don't want the arms opened like this I want them laying next to the body and for smaller parts of your amigurumis if they are small like arms and legs I strongly recommend you use tweezers and this is like the best tip that i have to give you here in this video and not only to use the tweezers itself but how to use it correctly well i have like a very special trick that i created and this will be mind-blowing for you and there are other materials that you can use to put the fiber inside your amigurumi the small parts like arms that i mentioned before you can use a smaller crochet hook size or chopsticks i've seen some videos that people like to use chopsticks but tweezers are the best it's a very cheap material and it's very very helpful to um, stuff our amigurumis but before I teach you how to use this too, remember to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up so I can keep creating these tutorials and tips for you. Okay, enough to chat, let's go back to the tweezers. So now for smaller parts, because it was easy showing the technique with the plushy yarn because it was easier for you to see and also easy for us. Let me remove the glasses. If you want, there is another tutorial here in the channel how to do this, it is very easy to be done i'll leave the link here for you but yeah how do we do that in such a small amigurumi like this that's when it comes the tweezers and they are very helpful so this is my special technique i usually take the tweezers and wrap the fiber like this I am pressing it, okay? I don't want it opened, I'm pressing. I have an, another amigurumi here that I'm still making and I cannot tell you what it will be. But you see that it's very small. So with the help of the tweezers, I insert with the fiber here. And you just pull the tweezers like this and the fiber will be inside and you use the tweezers to to guide you like to help you insert the fiber exactly where you want it to be i will do one leg with you let me remove my santa claus but i will do one leg so you can see it where well if i try to use a small ball like this look at the size of this ball next to the amigurumi this is too big so you have to split the fiber in small pieces. You can just hold it like this, okay? But it's very small. It, it's a little bit more difficult to insert the fiber like this. That's why with the tweezers opened, I grab the stuffing, wrap the fiber in it, like this hold it press it i'm so proud of myself for developing this technique you have no idea so i insert the tweezers with my left hand i press it and i'm not even pressing it hard i'm just holding it very loose pull the tweezers and the stuffing will be here you can adjust the way you want it and it starts to be firm again the importance of not overstuffing the feet i want this amigurumi to stand by itself so i want it to stand by itself so if i overstuff and it become becomes round of course the doll will not stand by itself that's not what i want i want the feet flattened like this Okay, let me know here in the comments if you already used tweezers to help you stuff your amigurumis. I will leave you with this other video here 
and I'm pretty sure you like it too.